Hello everybody. We're in the garage again today. And um, this is the motor out of my race car. It's a, the uh, GM 2.4. It's uh, A lot of people call it the quad four. Some people call it the twin cam. But um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, taking the timing set off. We're going to show you how to do that properly so that um, uh, you don't bend the valves or anything. This is an air interference motor. And uh, we want to make sure that it's in time before we pull the timing chain and gears off. And uh, later on, whenever I put it back together, I'll, ma I'll make a video and it'll show you how to actually put this motor in time. But for right now, we want to, we want to pull it out, or pull it apart. Um, I've already taken the motor out plate off, which bolts on here. And I've already, already taken the damper off. Alright, and um, I've also, to save time, I've taken out all the the bolts and a few of the nuts that, that hold this uh, front cover on. So this is the first time I'm opening it, so uh, we're going to pop it open and see where the time is at. We'll rotate it around, we'll get it in time, and then we're going to pull the timing chain off. Now, um, <clears throat> I have my tool sitting on a bench beside me, and um, I may be reaching across in front of the camera. My apologies for that uh, beforehand. So here we go. Pull this front cover off, and there we go. And we're going to set this stuff off to the side. And we're going to get rid of this just to keep it out of the way. This was a new timing set whenever I put it in, and it actually looks really, really good. I'm going to pull this and look gasket off. And I'm not going to get into taking the housing off and everything. You have to take all the, all the, uh, the chain and all that stuff and the tensioner. We're going to have to take that out uh, before we, have, we can take the housing off. The way this motor goes together, it's a little tricky. You have to put the head and cams on. The cams have to be in the motor. And the... Um, the, uh, the, the, then the timing cover goes on, and the very last thing you do to button up the motor is actually put the oil pan on. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. Now we're going to take the bolt from the from the damper here and put that in. We're going to use that to turn the motor over. And let's see here. We need reach around behind there. <clears throat> it actually looks like it's pretty close to being in time. These holes right here are, uh, will line up with holes that are in the timing cover behind here, and uh, that'll lock it in time. <clears throat> so, we'll take that up a little bit and we're going to rotate it over. And this, well, it's on the engine stand, but there's a. Uh, let me just check that. Yeah, we're in good shape. Okay, so let's turn it over. The spark plugs are still in it, so there's a little bit of compression in it. And now I'm just kind of peeking down in here, and there's the holes. We want to line those up, and they're both lined up. And I have a couple. It's a neighbor going by with his, with his motorcycle. Got a couple 8 millimeter bolts. We're going to slide those down in, make sure they're bottomed out. There he goes again, or another one. All right, now that we got that done, that's pretty simple. What we're going to do, since it's locked all, all together and everything, we're going to grab a 15 millimeter socket, and we're going to break the the nut loose here on the uh, timing chain or on the on the cam gear. This is the intake cam gear. You see that motor moving a little bit. There's a little bit of play with that bolt. It's not going to flop over. <clears throat> grab hold of this and pull this. Just want to break those loose to make that a little bit easier later. All right, now what has, this is the way I do it. First thing I want to do is remove the tensioner. Now you want to be careful with this because this is there's a spring underneath this piston here. It, this gets fed oil pressure, and oil pressure uh, pushes up on this to keep this nice and tight. But um, there's a spring underneath that to keep it from collapsing, and then you can it would cause a lot of uh, the, the, everything would get loose, and then. Um, you could actually skip time, so GM put a spring in there, which is nice. You can see that's a new tensioner. And I need a socket. That's 8 millimeter. These are 15. These are 8. Got to pull the ratchet. We have a little adapter here. Pop these out. Just going to do some both of those. Now, I take these bolts out, we're doing this in real time, 
I take these bolts out, this will not come flying out at me. I'll have to actually pry it out, but whenever I pry it out, I want to be real careful that this arm doesn't fly up. And uh, once these things come apart, they're a real pain to get back together and have it work correctly. And in fact, I don't, usually don't even mess with them. I just, I just toss it and put another one in. They're actually not that expensive. I think the, this one here I paid 25 bucks for. So if something happens to it, it's not a big deal. But it is a new one, right from GM. So save it if possible. Okay, got the two bolts out. All right, now I'm going to switch sides here. All right, now we're going to very carefully pull this out. I'm just going to get underneath here, just pry on this a little bit. And you can see that's going to slide out nice and easy. Again, I want to be very careful that that plunger doesn't doesn't spring spring out. I'm kind of squeezing, squeezing between here and here. I'm squeezing that as I pull it out, and it just comes right out. This is good. All right, it came out a little bit, but I still got it squeezed a little. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get this ready. This is just a temporary thing. I'm just going to feed it through the hole, put a zip tie through, and right here. Try to do this one-handed. <laughs> get in there. Okay, we're just going to get that started. I'm trying to hold on to it. There we go. So we get that started and get it kind of kind of close. Not all the way down because I want to be able to move this a little bit because there's a little hole right here. Um, you press, uh, you, I put a small screwdriver in that, and then it'll let this, it, it'll uh, take the pr pressure off this, off this piston, and it'll let this collapse, but sometimes you have to leave it kind of go out a little bit, and then it'll, then it'll collapse down in. So let's see how we do. Hold on to that, and we'll press in there. There it goes. We're going to try and get that all the way down. And that's pretty good. Oh, there goes some oil out of it. It's okay. Now that's compressed all the way down, I'm going to tighten our zip tie up. And that's about 90% of the job there. I got that down in real nice. A little bit of oil popped out there. That's fine. And uh, we can reuse this. And actually, actually, whenever I put this back in, I uh, usually get this in and then I'll snip this and then pull this out. But by then it's already in there with one bolt, with one bolt started down here. All right, now we're going to pull the rest of the gears out. I'm going to switch sides again. And the next thing we want to do is pull the guides out, and we're going to be inspecting those. And those look absolutely fantastic. This is my race motor, but uh, and this has a lot of hard laps on it, but it looks really, really good. And that one there doesn't want to come out real easy, so I'm just going to reach in just very gently, pry that out, and it just very gently pries out. And we're going to set that down. I'm going to pull this one out. And that's it. Now we can remove the chain. Now you notice there's a white link right here. That link always goes on the outside. Uh, some timing chains won't have that. It'll have uh, a link in it. It'll be like a different color or something. But um, I'm kind of looking at the chain. I mean, it looked looked uh, pretty good. It wasn't overly stretched or anything like that. So after I pull this out, I'll be inspecting it off camera to, uh, to make sure that it's going to be okay. So we may be able to reuse that because we're on a budget. <laughs> and that's it. And that is how you remove the timing chain from a General Motors Quad 4 you know, or 2.4 twin cam and uh, keep from bending the valves. Now these, uh, these bolts are in and um, at this point I can actually remove these bolts from the, from the cam sprockets. I can pull those off and I remove the bolts down here and the bolts in the oil pan and uh, there's four bolts behind each one of the cam sprockets and there's uh, some some nuts on a stud back here. I'm going to check this. This is the water pump. This drives the water pump. I'm just checking that to make sure that's not making any weird noises or if there's any play in there we want to get rid of that. Um, I think this was new whenever I put the motor together but we always want to check everything. And um, <clears throat> since it's in time and everything um, we're going to leave it that way and remove the bolts and this will come off and it'll just kind of set there. It, it, the cams might rotate just a little bit but not enough to where it'll make any difference. But as a little bit of extra insurance, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the motor backwards about a quarter of a turn, just like that. And what that does is it brings all the pistons down off the top dead center. After I get uh, the cams in time again, I'll slowly bring that up to top dead center and then uh, we'll put the timing chain in and everything should be fine. Um, the, the four cylinders, they're a two up and two down motor. The outside cylinders will be up and the inside will be down and vice versa. And so by turning this backwards slightly, it gets all the pistons moving down in the board just a little bit. Some of them will be a little closer to the bottom. A few other ones will be closer to the top. And I can leave it set like that. And I can actually spin that cam now and it won't, uh, it won't bend the valve. So this is just a little safety measure that I, that I like to do. Well, I'll be watching for a follow-up video in a couple weeks. It's going to be maybe a week or so, maybe maybe, uh, maybe a couple days. We'll see. We'll see what the schedule's like. And um, uh, we're going to be putting uh, the new motor together, and I'll show you how to actually get this in time. It's sort of the, the reverse of, of this. If you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button down below, and maybe think about subscribing. Appreciate you, uh, you watching. If you have any constructive comments, you can leave them below. I appreciate it. Thanks watching. Have a great day.